Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. In this video today I'm going to be talking about on stage after hours which was an option to add on to the on stage event for attendees if they wish to. Um, the on stage after hours took place on Thursday evening which was the day of registration. We had an evening of crafting with friends, catching up, chatting, it was really lovely and um, it was our first opportunity to get our hands on some of the new catalogue products. So at this point we had not yet received our new catalogue. We had a tiny idea about some of the things that were coming because as part of registration for On Stage After Hours we each had the opportunity to choose from three different bundle options that are new for the new annual catalogue. You could select which one you wanted and you knew that you would receive that set at On Stage After Hours along with a pack of mixed new in colour cardstock. So, little disclaimer, if you haven't seen yet the new in colours and you do not want to see them yet, switch off, come back at a later date because I am going to be showing you the new in colour cardstock, telling you the names of the new in colours and showing you another of the coordinating in colour products. So if you don't want to see that yet, switch off and come back when you are ready. Otherwise, I would love for you to stick around and I will talk to you a little bit more about On Stage After Hours and you're about to see the new in colours for 2024 to 2026. It's very exciting. So, are you ready? I'm going to I'm going to start with the new in colours. So, these are the new in colours for 2024 to 2026. We have got Peach Pie, Pretty in Pink, Summer Splash, Petunia Pop and Shy Shamrock. For those of you who've been around for a while, you might notice that Pretty in Pink is actually a returning colour. The other four colours are all shiny and new. So we had the opportunity to play with these new in colours together with our selected bundles at On Stage After Hours. So included in our After Hours goodies we had the mixed A4 pack of new in colour cardstock. We also received a pack of the Baker's Twine Essentials. We also received our chosen bundle. I opted for the Country Flowers set. This is a stamp set with coordinating dies and I will show you a little bit more on those in just a moment. And personally for me, most excitingly, we received a pack of 2024-2026 in colour shimmer gems. They are so beautiful. They are really, really sparkly. I don't know how well you can see that, but they are super sparkly. And I could not wait. I mean, you'll see there's a couple of gaps. I couldn't wait to use them on my project. So, within our On Stage After Hours booklet, there were instructions and information on how to create three different projects. Now, as you can imagine, we had just got together with all of our lovely friends. We'd had a very long day of travelling and to be honest, it was really nice to have a little look at the new things, get to play with the um, new in colour ink pads as well, um, our new bundles. But it was also an opportunity to chat, catch up, and by the end of the session we were all feeling ready for bed, having had a long day of travelling. So I had a little flick through the On Stage After Hours book 
and I decided to make a different version of one of the projects that was designed for a different bundle because who would I be if I didn't go rogue at a stamping event? So this is the card that I made using the Country Flowers bundle. So I didn't use any of the dies. We didn't have access to a stamp and cut and emboss machine, but I was able to stamp and obviously cut the cardstock. And I've used some of those shimmer gems as well. Um, so a slightly different project than the projects that had been um, kind of planned out for us. And I will be creating um, some kind of different twists on some of those projects in the coming videos too. So I'm going to give you a little bit more of a look now at the Country Flowers Bundle. Um, so we're going to open the die set and I'm going to open the stamp case as well. So the stamps, well the images are shown at 90% on the co cover. Um, so the stamps are slightly larger than they appear. Um, so if I just open this and you can see I was a little bit tired and haven't actually put everything back where it belongs. But you've got all of the stamps there, so that's their true size. So if I kind of lay that over the top, you can see that actually it is a little bit bigger than the artwork on the outside of the case. And then we have the coordinating dies. So you have a die to cut out all three of these elements. You have a die for each of the kind of floral images. We also have some extra dies. So we've got the lid for the teapot. Um, we also have some extra leaves that we can die cut. And then lots of lovely little flowers. And I'm really excited to create with these. So that's a bit more of a look at the bundle that I had selected. I will be bringing you some projects with that very, very soon. But I also wanted to take this opportunity to show you some of my highlights from my swaps. Now, as you can imagine, when you are swapping and you are in receipt of almost a hundred swaps, it is really, really hard to choose your kind of highlights um, and there are lots and lots of really really lovely swaps that I received so I have painstakingly gone through them to select a few to highlight to you today and then I have various kind of grouped together swaps that I will be showing you through upcoming videos Wherever possible, I will highlight for you who the swap came from. And I would like to preface this by saying that I am very, very sorry to my European demonstrators whose names I pronounce horribly. I will do my very best to pronounce them correctly, but I am sure that there will be some that I will not get correct. I'm really sorry if you can hear the enormous bumblebee that is currently fluttering around in my office. It is quite possibly the biggest bumblebee I have ever seen. Um, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. So the first swap that I'm going to bring in is this lovely card and this is from Helke Schmoll. Um, I love Moody Mauve but the thing that drew me to this is that it is a fun fold. But how clever. It's really simple. You don't need tons of extra cardstock. The only thing extra that you need is actually that piece of designer series paper because the circle is cut just straight from the card front. It is definitely a project that I will be looking to recreate with my own spin on it. So thank you so much, Helka. Uh, the next one that I'm going to bring in is this lovely project. This is from Annette Elias, 
again I'm probably pronouncing it horribly um, so she says that her swap was inspired by the old Dutch Delft blue traditional style um, and I just love that she stamped the march and then circled the dates for on stage um, 2024 really special so thank you this next one is from artisan Isabel Barbier I'm probably pronouncing that horribly I'm very sorry um, but I just thought this was so beautiful that bumblebee is so loud he's enormous then I have got this next one this is from Marion Moliny again I'm so sorry for my pronunciation I thought this was just beautiful uh, I don't know if you can see all of that there so you pull up the top and then it comes out of the top and the bottom and the detail the time that um, she must have spent to stamp and distress both sides and add all of the elements it's just beautiful then we have I'll go for this one next so this is from Marine Whitplier um, and this is uh, it's gone out the bumblebee has gone out of the door now she has used the vellum sheets to create an envelope which is just so beautiful it's such a good idea um, and then the lovely card on the inside and then space to write on the reverse really beautiful really clever such a good use of the vellum I would never have thought um, to create an envelope from the vellum that she stitched it with the sewing machine so clever then we have this card this is from Karine Genou um, and this so you open it up and there's a surprise inside and if you twist this wreath oh, twist this wreath and then inside how well you can see that inside you've got a little bird and it says hi so clever really really effective um, definitely something that I am looking forward to attempting to recreate so thank you so much Kareen and then my final one to highlight is this lovely one this is from Stephanie Noel um, and it opens out like this is Stampin' Up on Stage Rotterdam March 2024 just thought that was so clever and she's even got the um, just it tucks up beautifully together so clever such a lovely idea definitely something I'm going to be wanting to recreate um, but I'd just like to take this opportunity just to thank everyone again um, that swapped with me I really appreciate it I've come away feeling very inspired and there are lots of projects that I'm looking to um, recreate with my own spin on them um, and then I will have lots more swaps to show you in coming videos too thanks for joining me I hope to see you again soon take care bye